Okay, hey there guys, Persian Catboy here, loud and proud, meow meow, sorry for um, sorry for like having such a big long wait since my last video, but I've been very very busy recently, um, so what I've done today is I've just um, I've just been playing it for about two or three hours straight, and I've done some improvements, and I've uh, I've got a couple of things to show you, so first of all, let me show you what I've done to the house. Look at it, huh? Looking brand new. I patched up this big hole in the floor, created from that creeper coming in. I've now got double doors there. Uh, I've installed uh, glass panes there, so I can see what's going on outside. Um, I've installed my uh, my furnace into the wall there. <clears throat> oh, I can hear spiders. Um. And what I've done as well, because what's really been killing me the most is like every time I die, obviously I, I lose all of my possessions. So what I've done is I down here I've created a chest, just so that say if anything should happen upstairs, where a, like say a creeper gets in and like explodes, um, it doesn't destroy my chest nor my items. So if I do die, I always keep. I've now got like a backup load of items in here. I spent a lot of time foraging and doing some mining. So should anything happen to me, I've got some real good um some good stuff in here. Like I've just got it's rotten and flesh, but you know, food in case I run out. I've got a pickaxe so I don't have to bother chopping wood and then making a wooden pickaxe and then mining stone to then make a stone pickaxe and um, an iron pickaxe, which you know then allows me to successfully um, mine like um, diamonds and like uh, an iron and stuff like that so I'll put these in here as like a nice little backup and I've actually found a couple of diamonds so I've got a diamond sword in here and a couple more diamonds a couple of iron and I've actually learned how to make a boat so what I'm gonna do is next time I come across oh dear I can hear something at the door Um, I have such, for some reason, I have been experiencing a lot of attacks recently. Um, and I'm now starting to think that I'm going to have to install some kind of iron door. Because the zombies are really becoming a pain now. I'm really not too sure. You know, you can see I've got a little glass panel. Anyway, guys, I want to quickly show you something, just in case I was to be lucky. I don't know if you remember a while ago when I was down here, I said I saw something in, in, off in the distance, and then I got hit by like an arrow or something, and I thought, nah, it must have been a skeleton. But I was down here last night, and what I did was, I was messing around with a waterfall. No, it's not here. No, yeah. I was messing around here with this, uh, this lava flow. Oh, a zombie. Oh, it came from up there somewhere. So what happens was, I was messing with lava flow, as you can see, it's a bit, you know, like, it's a bit showing on the side a bit more. And I came down here, and I kid you not, guys, there was a giant down here. And he must have been about, um, let me see, he would have been about... He would have been about four blocks tall. He was about that tall. He was completely black. Um, had some kind of like purple kind of mist around him. And what he was doing was he was moving gravel or dirt. He was moving dirt from over here and he was bringing it across. And he was like moving it there. He was moving dirt anyway. He was picking it up and walking around a bit. Anyway, he saw me and he came over, but he fell down here. Um, I don't know if he was wanted to attack me, I didn't take any risks, he probably would have attacked me, so from up here I killed him, and he fell into the lava, and anything which, any possessions he probably had, or goodies, they went into the lava and burned away, so that is quite unfortunate, and I have no idea what it was at all, so, don't know about that one, but what I'll do quickly, is I'm going to show you the progress I've made in my treehouse, now, unfortunately guys, it's looking like I'm not going to be able to um, to build the large Minecraft kind of roller coaster thing into the rainforest anymore. 
Um, I'll show you when I get up there. Why? It is possible, but it's gonna take me a hell of a long time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so look here, guys. Ladders. Hello. Hello, trapdoor. Now go up. Go up. I'll go up a little bit further, shall I? How about even further? Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And there we go, guys. Obviously a very rainy day. Um, so I'm not able to see as far as I should because of the lack of sunlight. Hopefully you can appreciate how tall I've got these trees now. And what I was going to do is, I was going to get the trees around up to the level of this platform I just created. And then I plan to, from this platform, um, have it going off into the, uh, the rainforest, which is actually over there somewhere, but it's actually very foggy today because of all this rain and shit. So hopefully, maybe this rain will stop sometime. Might be able to see, but if not, anyway, I'll quickly show you why it's going to be a bit of a problem to to do this kind of big minecart. Um, basically, as you understand, like... Um, once I get so far, the minecart will need to start declining in height. Um, and this, I'll show you. Oh shit, exactly, that's why. If I was off somewhere else, I would have died. Because what you need to do is I need to stand right on the very, very edge. I'll try to show you with maybe this little tree here. See, I can't even do it. Because you got to stand on the edge and like. Uh, I might be able to do it just here. There. You see how kind of tricky that is? To like have to stand on the edge and like where I can see this one. Just so I can pinpoint in here and then add a block to it. But there's no way I'll be able to do that all the way across to the other side of the river. Um, it's just not possible I'm afraid. Um, I can't quite see my items down there properly. Don't know what spot. But yeah, hopefully as you can appreciate, there's no way I can do that. So all I'm gonna have to do is I'll just turn the volume down a little bit. Rain's quite loud. So it looks by the looks of it, I'm going to have to just do it on like, normal level, which isn't so exciting. Now as you can see, I'm really high up here, so it's quite a kind of, quite dangerous like, oh fuck it, quite dangerous falling from such heights. But yeah, hopefully you can see that I've really built it up here. Now that's like the stairs are inside there. Uh, oh shit. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, so basically guys, my next kind of adventure, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explore the mines. These ones down here. They look cool, huh? I'm gonna go down there and explore those mines. I got that project going on. Uh, another project I want to do is I want to get my farm on a go. And I've actually found a nice little body of water around here somewhere. I made mean, this as a trap. It's only worked a couple of times. Sometimes I find bones in here from uh, skeletons that have fallen in there and cows. But it's just body of water. See, so that shit doesn't look that tall from here. Maybe we should make it way higher, like twice as high. <laughs> That'd be cool, huh? Yeah, what I might do is, um, it's a nice little body of water here. I might turn this into like a little agriculture field because 
you need like water to kind of um, to water your crop so what you do is like what I'll do is I would do something like this you know make like a little stream and layer like the uh, plants alongside the stream there um, allow me to like I don't have to water them manually every day sugar cane. Um, I want to know this well, it's quite cool, don't know if you'll be able to see anything. Uh, there's one very, might not be able to see it, but there's like octopuses in the water. There's a baby cat. I'm not trying to kill this one. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, so basically I'm just going to, um... I'm gonna start a couple things because I'm tired. I'm just so tired of like starving all the time, so. I'm totally gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make like a little kind of. a little farm down here. I'm just gonna grow some wheat, you know, the basics, just so in case I run out, I can just be able to come down, pick some wheat, go back to the house, make some bread, and just top up on the food because it's a bit of a pain sometimes. And something else what I've noticed as well, um. I just don't know how to do it. I've tried it here, but. You're actually able to, um, you can grow mushrooms, and mushrooms are a great source. You can make mushroom stew, and once you make mushroom stew, it's a great source of, like, a health revival. Um, now, typically, the health revival is based on your hunger level, so you can see the level of hunger there, it's absolutely full. Once your level of hunger is full, um, it, like, totally, um, Once your bat's full, it totally um, restores your health for you. That's really cool. But, say if it is down, another way is like you can make stew out of mushrooms, and that just completely revives your health. But the problem is, I don't know how to um, kind of breed them, the mushrooms, uh, you know, sow them. There is a way, I'm just not quite sure. Um, I think I might have to, you know, I really don't know, let's have to flood it with water, but I'm going to have to do some reading and find out about that one. And as you can see, this was the big mine down here, I want to explore, looks, looks great. So I might go ahead and explore that sometime soon, but for now, What's that black block there? I'm gonna have a quick look. I hate it when it's raining, you know. Like here's another mushroom. We all grow into the trees in like damp conditions. Oh, uh, just sugar cane, is it? Look, there's more mushrooms here. Yeah, sugar cane. So I wanna learn how to kind of. Are they sheep? Yeah, that's sheep. You know what? I need to get some sheep. I got my shears with me. I just recently made some shears. Um, because I never knew it. I got shears. What I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna try to shear these, and if I get wool, like this is the proper rainforest where I wanna be. Oh, where is sheep? Yeah, I wanna try to shear again. Oh, I've cut his blow off. Huh? Cool. And I'll share you as well. So I got some wool there. Oh, is another one there? Three bits of wool there. That's pretty cool. I'm sure everyone just grew his fur back real quick. Um, now then. If you have wool, I believe you can make a bed. And once you have a bed, you can have your respawn. Yeah, it's, it's growing back. Once you have your bed, maybe the rain <laughs> makes the wool grow back. Once you have, um, like a bed, that's your new respawn point. So if you ever die, you can just, um, totally respawn in your bed. And also, and also, um, you can actually sleep in your bed, say if it's nighttime, you want to skip nighttime, you can just go ahead, press it, 
and uh, you can go ahead press it and it will just you can skip back to the morning which is pretty hot okay, I'm just gonna kill uh, I'm just gonna shear the sheep that's where we'll kill that uh, I'm gonna go back to the house now but you know I'm just dying to get back into the rainforest I just love the trees there I just love the canopy I'm definitely gonna have to move back into the rainforest at some point so yeah I think I'll be doing that soon um, okay shit I think that's the sun going down yeah that's my house up there I need to get back pretty quick I can't see anything. I can actually go right on the water. And do you know what I was thinking about doing? I was actually thinking about flooding the mine. This one down here. I might go ahead and cut a thing and watch it flood. If I do it now. Where it goes. I wonder if this will totally drain. I don't really want it to drain, to be honest. And then before it gets too dark and you can't see anything, I'll get back. Okay. Get back to my house. I'll get back to my house and I'll make my bed. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I gotta be careful. Yeah, that's good. The last couple of times I've left my door open and I've come back inside and found skeletons inside. And spiders actually come down from there, so I've got that locked off. Now, I believe it's planks and wool. I imagine it's just gonna be and free on top. Yes, it is. That's pretty hot. And I've also read you can dye your wool with flowers. No. This what's what's happened? Something there. Oh, how do I do that? Rose red. Ah, oh, just for flowers, okay. Okay, I think I've got it. Rose red, maybe if I mix it with here, it might go. Yeah, red wool. Cool, huh? Okay. And there's loads of different types of flowers and stuff you can dye it with, so that's pretty cool. And I'll get the wooden planks across here. The bed is still red, obviously. That's pretty stupid. Now, I've got a bed. Where shall I put the bed? I'm quite unsure about putting it in here. I might put it in here in here for now, and then I'm gonna do something about securing these windows. Cause I'm I'm quite scared that if I'm safe, I'm stood nearby a window and a creeper comes by, it'll explode. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like fences up the window outside to stop to prevent the creepers getting really close. And I'll put the bed in the corner here, I think. No. I gotta put it on stone. I'll try. Okay, I'm gonna try sleeping in the bed then. Huh. Never seen this before, I must say, guys. And it's morning. That's pretty cool. First thing in the morning. That's cool. Okay, then, guys. I guess I'll speak to you soon then. Persian Catboy here, loud and proud, meow meow.